We finally got the announcement for Pokemon Home and when it's going to have that compatibility with Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details, everything we know in anticipation for the release dropping next week. So earlier today we had an announcement from Pokemon confirming that Pokemon Home compatibility with Scarlet and Violet will be happening next Wednesday the 24th of May which is a lot sooner than what I thought it was. We had a tweet out from Cerebi following up on this with the new metadata graphic on how Home is going to work with all the corresponding Pokemon games. As you can see here the only games that are going to currently feed into Pokemon Home are going to be Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Go and then Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Then we're going to have backwards compatibility between Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl, Legends Arceus, Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield, which is very exciting. So how the backwards compatibility is going to work is if you have a Pokemon in, say, Scarlet and Violet and it exists in, let's say, Diamond and Pearl, then you're going to be able to trade your Pikachu from Scarlet and Violet into Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. It won't work for Pokemon that don't exist in those games, so it's not like you're going to be able to trade a few Coco or a Quaxly into something like Sword and Shield. But as long as that Pokemon exists in the game that you're trading to, you'll be able to trade it out from the base game that you're trading from. So for the first time, you could take something like a Charizard that we caught in that seven star Terror Raid and then trade it into Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Alongside this, we have had an update for a special gift as well for anyone that does connect their Pokemon Skull and Violet account to Pokemon Home. You will receive a special gift of Sprigatito, Fiococo and Quaxly, and they will all have their hidden abilities. This will be the mystery gifts that you'll get and you'll be able to obtain these mystery gifts from your mobile device. So if you connect your Pokemon Home up to your phone, you're going to be able to go into your phone and get the mystery gifts that way. It's the same how mystery gifts generally work in Pokemon Home, like the Ultra Ball, the Great Ball and the Pokeball bags have been working recently from those global challenges. If you have been taking part in those, this will work exactly the same way. If you connect your switch up with Scarlet and Violet to Pokemon Home, after that, log in to your mobile version. As long as the accounts are connected, the same one on your mobile version as your switch, then you'll get this mystery gift for the starter Pokemon, which is pretty nice. A nice little gift and a bonus for just connecting Scarlet and Violet, which I know pretty much everyone that will be watching this probably will be doing anyway. Further information we also got from Play Pokemon on the back of the announcement was Pokemon can only be moved to games that they appear in, like we've already mentioned. Additionally, the Terra type of Pokemon moved to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet from other games will be determined by their original type or types. So this pretty much works like catching a wild Pokemon and then it having a Terra type. It can only have a Terra typing in Scarlet and Violet based on its base typing. So if you're going to go after a Bronzo, it can only have the Terra typing of Steel or Psychic when you catch it. That is how it's going to work for trading in Pokemon from other games to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So if you're going to trade in a Pikachu, it will only ever have the Electric Terra typing once you've traded it from, say, something like Sword and Shield. So that's how that's going to work. Then we've got other updates as well. This is a pretty big one. You will also be able to tab between the games your Pokemon has data for in Pokemon Home on the fly without needing them to be the latest game deposited. So currently, if you're in Pokemon Home and you're trying to scroll through it, you have to kind of come out to go into another game to see the Pokemon that were from that game. But as long as you've got the data of that Pokemon in Pokemon Home. Now, if you're in that Pokemon Home screen, the base screen, then you're gonna be able to flick through games. So it's gonna be much easier to kind of go into the different games and see the Pokemon that you've got in Pokemon Home and then kind of organize them or send them to other areas that you want. A really nice feature, a very good quality of life update and uh, one I'm looking forward to using. Another update from Play Pokemon as well from version 3.0 onward, when bringing Pokemon to Pokemon Home into the linked game, you You'll be able to change its moves it knows from amongst a list of moves that has learned up to that point which is pretty big there's a new move relearner facility in pokemon home for pokemon that you trade in there which is a huge thing it did get rumored that this would be a facility but it has been confirmed now there's a little picture here from Cerebi kind of detailing this from a Japanese player. So you can see here they're on a Pikachu and you can see the move choices that it's got that it can relearn. And if we actually go over to Cerebi where they've got a bit more information on all of these new updates, you can see there is a point here where it does talk about the move relearner. So the Nintendo Switch version will also add a new move relearner which will allow you to relearn moves of a Pokemon through the app. 
This allows them to learn moves from a list of moves it has learned up to that point. Limited to moves that can be learned in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Some moves excluded Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So anything prior to Pokemon Sword and Shield, they're not going to be able to learn if they did learn them before that through this facility. But a really nice way for you to kind of just manage your Pokemon get old moves relearned if you're able to in the app rather than having to trade them to the respective game if they're in amongst these. He also goes on to say that you'll also be able to exchange home points now into league points which are available in Scarlet and Violet so that's another plus. You could turn them into battle points in Sword and Shield so now it'll be league points in Scarlet and Violet so you'll be able to kind of cash those in and use those in game which is always quite useful especially for TMs and just buying general stuff if you haven't got that much money. And the challenges within Pokemon home have been updated this one in particular here uh, is a challenge for depositing a roaming form gimme ghoul that was caught in pokemon go so that's another feature as well that has been updated you're going to be able to trade uh, the roaming gimme ghoul from pokemon go into pokemon home and then trade that into scarlet and violet to complete that portion of its pokedex because at the moment the only way to get gimme ghoul is the chest form in scarlet and violet not the roaming form that you can just find around the area but with this compatibility with Pokemon Go, you're gonna be able to go in, trade it on and get it in Scarlet and Violet. Now, Cerebi does have a full list of transfer only Pokemon. Whether or not this is 100% correct or not, I'm not really too sure. You can see the list here, you can go onto it and it's got every Pokemon that currently we know is gonna be transferable into Scarlet and Violet. Now, I'm not sure if this is 100% or not, and this may change when the update comes out next week, but there are a lot of Pokemon that will be transferable in a lot of them you'll recognize from the seven star raids but you're going to have like some of the mythicals like Megana. there you're going to have other pokemon like zamazenta zashi and eternatus and then the urshifu as well zarud another mythical there reggie alecki and reggie drago as well as glastria and spectria as well as more importantly all of the Hisuian forms that we know can come into the game. And that includes the Alolan forms as well. You're going to get things like Alolan Muk that will be transferable in because Muk's in the base games. And then you're going to get Alolan Persian as well because that does appear. Obviously Meowth and Persian are in the game. So you're going to be able to get those Alolan forms traded in as well. So it's pretty exciting. But as soon as we do know a definitive list of Pokemon that we can trade in through Pokemon Home to Scarlet and Violet, we will do an update here on the channel just to let you all no there's no updates on the pokemon home official website just yet so that's something that's pretty strange in my opinion anyway with the big news that's come out but hopefully we see an update soon on that website but that is pretty much everything for the update today very excited that we finally got the announcement date and it will be next wednesday of course we'll cover everything on the lead up to it and when it drops to show all of the new functionalities what you can trade in what you can't trade in and what you can do with pokemon home going forward how to get the mystery gifts and all of that other things so do stay tuned for that video when it does drop if if you've enjoyed today's video please drop a like do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more of our pokemon scarlet and violet content and let me know down in the comment section below what pokemon you're most looking forward to trading into scarlet and violet once home drops next wednesday thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye <laughs>